6 p.m. it started to snow. The first snow of the season, and my wife and I took our cocktails and sat for hours by the window watching the huge soft flakes drip down from heaven. Ah, it looked like a Grandma Moses print. It's so romantic. We felt like newlyweds again. I love snow. <laughs> we woke to a beautiful blanket of crystal white snow covering every inch of the landscape. Ah, oh, what a fantastic sight. Can there be a lovelier place in the whole world? Moving here was the best idea I've ever had. <laughs> Shoveled for the first time in years and felt like a boy again. I did both our driveway and the sidewalks. This afternoon, the snowplow came along and covered up the sidewalks and closed in the driveway, so I got to shovel again. <laughs> what a perfect life. <sighs> the sun has melted away all our lovely snow. Such a disappointment. My neighbor tells me not to worry. We'll definitely have a white Christmas. No snow on Christmas would be awful. <laughs> Bob says we'll have so much snow by the end of winter that I'll never want to see snow again. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Bob is such a nice guy. I'm glad he's our neighbor. Snow! Lovely snow! Eight inches last night. The temperature dropped to negative 20. The cold makes everything sparkle. <laughs> the wind took my breath away, but I warmed up shoveling the driveway and sidewalks. <laughs> Tell you, this is the life. The snowplow came back this afternoon and got buried everything again. I didn't realize I would have to do quite this much shoveling, but I'll certainly get back in shape this way. <laughs> I wish I didn't huff and puff so. 20 inches forecasted. I sold my van and bought a 4x4 blazer. Bought snow tires for the wife's car and uh, two extra shovels. Stocked the freezer. The wife wants a wooden stove in case the electricity goes out. I think that's so silly. I, we're not in Alaska after all. Duh. <laughs> ice storm this morning. Gah. Fell on my ass on the ice in the driveway putting down salt. Hurt like hell. <laughs> the wife laughed for an hour, which I think was very cruel. Whew. Still way below freezing. <laughs> Roads are too icy to go anywhere. Electricity was off for five hours. I had to pile the blankets on to stay warm. Nothing to do but stare at the wife and try not to irritate her. <sighs> I guess I should have bought a wood stove, but wouldn't admit it to her. God, I hate when she's right. <sighs> I can't believe I'm freezing to death in my own living room. Electricity's back on, but uh, had another 14 inches of the d stuff last night. More shoveling. <laughs> Took all day. The d snowplow came by twice. <laughs> Tried to find a neighbor kid to shovel, but uh, they said they were too busy playing hockey. I think they're lying. <laughs> Called the only hardware store around to see about buying a snowblower, and they're out. Might have another shipment in March. I think they're lying. <laughs> and uh, Bob says, I have to shovel or the city will have it done and bill me. I think he's lying too. So Bob was right about a white Christmas because 13 more inches of the white <laughs> fell today and it's so cold it probably won't melt until August. <sighs> Took me 45 minutes to get all dressed up to go out and shovel and then I had to <laughs> By the time I got undressed <laughs> and dressed again, I was too tired to shovel. Uh, tried to hire Bob, who has a plow, on his truck for the rest of the winter, but he says he's too busy, and I think the asshole is lying. Only two inches of snow today, and it uh, warmed up to zero. The wife wanted me to decorate the front of the house this morning. What? What, is she nuts? Why didn't she tell me to do that a month ago? She says she did, but I think she's lying. Six inches. Snow packed so hard by snowplow, I broke the shovel. <laughs> Thought I was having a heart attack. And you know, if I ever catch the son of a bitch who drives that snowplow, I'll drag him through the snow by his balls and beat him to death with my broken shovel. I know, he hides around the corner and waits for me to finish shoveling, and then he comes around the street at 100 miles an hour and throws snow all over where I've just been. Tonight, the wife wanted me to sing Christmas carols with her and open our presents, but uh, I was too busy watching for the damn snowplow. Merry f***ing Christmas! 20 more inches of the damn stuff tonight. Snowed in. <laughs> the idea of shoveling makes my blood boil. God, I hate snow. Then the snowplow driver came by asking for a donation, and I hit him over the head with my shovel. The wife says I have a bad attitude. I think she's a freaking idiot. If I have to watch It's a Wonderful Life one more time, I'm going to stuff her in the microwave. Still snowed in. <laughs> Why the hell did I ever move here? It, it, it was all her idea. <sighs> and she is really getting on my nerves. <sighs>
The temperature dropped to negative 30, and the pipes froze. <laughs> Plumber came after 14 hours of waiting for him, and he only charged me 1400 to replace all of my pipes. <sighs> Warmed up to above negative 20. Still snowed in. And the bitch is driving me crazy! Ten more inches. Bob says I have to shovel the roof or it could cave in. And that is the silliest thing I have ever heard. How dumb does he think I am? The roof caved in. I beat up the snowplow driver and now he is suing me for a million dollars not only for the beating I gave him but also for trying to shove the broken snow shovel up his ass. The wife went home to her mother. Nine more inches predicted. I set fire to what's left of the house. No more shoveling. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so good. <laughs> I just love those little white pills they keep giving me. And what, what? Why am I tied to the bed?